Good morning, everybody. I am feeling much better since I uh, first <laughs> did maybe an hour ago when I let you know that, oh my God, the, the, the camera's right there. It's still morning. Okay, so earlier, earlier all week, I've been editing videos, but I haven't finished any one in particular, and so I figured I need to edit obviously, to upload a video. And I hadn't, and I hadn't, and I hadn't. And I said to myself, I'm going to um, edit. I'm going to wake up early, and I'm going to do it. And I get up today, and I'm like, <sighs> like, I can't. So I'm like, I'm going to be in my bathroom. And I'm contemplating, like, can I get the energy to do it or not? And I'm like, you know what, let's just talk. Because there's been a lot happening in the world, and I've been paying attention to it. Um, and trying to listen to the sources, direct sources, like the press releases from our governments. And um, we don't need to talk about that <laughs> unless you guys want to. I'm here with my Guinness. I had brought him over because I'm like, of course, I need an animal here for, for my purposes, right? And um, here he is. And he was looking at the camera earlier when I was taking pictures. He's been into cameras lately, uh, aggressively attacking them when he sees pictures or uh, whatever's being displayed. So that's quite exciting for me and I can't wait to eventually shoot a video of that. But I have to find content that is not... Um, that music's a little distracting. I thought it would be helpful. I'm just going to lower the volume. Um, and... Sorry, so I'm going to have an iPad and I'm going to have the videos uh, playing of whatever the heck aggressively uh, piques his interest. One thing we did learn, hi, thanks for joining. Uh, one thing that piques his interest is birds. My cat really doesn't like birds. Uh, so he's like violently attacking the iPad when he's uh, seeing them on the screen. He likes to see other things and other movements, but there's nothing as bad as... Right, Guinness? As birds, he hates them. I think squirrels were another thing. Like, it's just the real animals that are outside. He really wants to get it. He's an aggressive boy. And, uh, and if you see him plop himself down on me, you'll see that. But, oh my goodness, I was not prepared for this. I'm like, I know what I'm going to talk about. I have a million things to say. And now that I'm here and I'm live, I'm like, My baby's here. There's a lot of talk in my head. And I'm like, I was going to talk about what's happening, but now I'm thinking not. What do you guys want to hear? Um, I'm in Canada. And what's, what's going on in Canada? We had, I think up to yesterday, this morning, yesterday morning, we had like over 800 cases in Canada. We've had one death in my province of Ontario. Um, I guess I should really start by, like, the number one thing to do to prevent yourself from getting sick. <laughs> well, one, don't be racist. And two, wash your hands. And six, stay six feet away from people that are, that you are not living with. Um, I've actually been seeing people who, like, friends, you could see their, their, their friends and not household members who are going on walks together. I've seen uh, kids playing around that are not family because they're all in the same room. My phone should not be going. I hope you guys cannot hear this. Hi, welcome. And uh, I'm just talking about what I'm seeing in the neighborhood. There's like dog walkers. I have a dog um, and so I walk her and I walk her alone. Uh, but I see dog walkers, uh, like, standing on the sidewalk and, like, three at a time, chit-chatting and talking with their dogs. They are not respecting the self-isolation and the six-foot rule. Um, I think people are still indifferent to... There are people out here that are indifferent to what's going on in the world. And I was just seeing yesterday how, like, Italy's looking quite really terrible. Uh, with their situation with their deaths. They had the 10 trucks uh, full of bodies going through the town uh, for cremation. And I don't remember watching anything to do with this 
from China. And I'm thinking China really did have a good stance on um, this music. I need to like change. I thought I was going to enjoy this music. But it is distracting because I like it. And here I go changing it to another. So let me just put it on some calm jazz. And maybe we like that. I'm just on my uh, TV here. And I'll have to lower it, the volume. And I can focus a little bit better. But I remember when like the epidemic started and they were talking about... Um, uh, how China was doing such a great job with trying to maintain uh, or contain the the virus and I think they did a it seems like they did a really great job on it I haven't been following all the news you guys can fill me in on something that I'm missing uh, but we're we're in a situation of up and down emotions I'm really enjoying the time of quietness in the neighborhood. I'm really happy to hear about the reduced pollution in the world. Um, in my area, uh, I went to the local uh, Costco warehouse yesterday and they were practicing the six foot rule. It was really interesting and everybody was cooperating and it was well organized. People did not appear panicked and were not uh, stressed stressed upset like people are just quiet um but i was laughing around and joking and uh, my fiance was telling announcing to me that i have the swine flu <laughs> we're taking it lightly you gotta roll with the punches i fortunately right now i don't know anyone personally impacted by this um i was uh, quarantined during the SARS. Um, I will be making a video on that later to talk about that quarantine when uh, it happened in 2003. I was a retail worker. So, um, you know, I'm not really exactly an outsider to being quarantined or isolated uh, for medical reasons. Uh, I know there's many people that already have it, like that already have to so-called quarantine or isolate themselves. I saw the uh, meme about uh, cancer. Uh, people who have cancer, they're already doing this or had been doing this, so it's nothing new to them. I feel that we have technology. <laughs> We're not listening to one radio station in the from, what, the 50s or 40s or earlier uh, where you have to be quarantined and, like, what, play, read a book? I'm not being sarcastic. I'm just like it, it was much quieter times. I would imagine than this like um, Yesterday I saw a video. Here's happier times yesterday. I saw a video of um, And it, uh, somebody recorded the video in Italy. They're on a balcony and they're DJing they're playing music and they're emceeing on the mic to in an apartment building on the balcony and you guys probably have seen it and um and the people in the area or in the in the other balconies are like cheering and singing or whatever they're happy i'm like this is good people are making some efforts to come together and um and 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 make some positivity out of it come together stay distance apart <laughs> don't have social dates don't go on outings together do video calls and phone calls text whatever the heck socials that you guys do um, stick to that and put your music on. I mean, when I'm not feeling great, my bad coping mechanism is to go to sleep. And it's just the worst thing to do for someone who's got depression and anxiety. Well, maybe not anxiety. I mean, I have anxiety, I have depression, <laughs> but uh, someone who has anxiety, I think it's a good thing to go to sleep because your brain gets shut down if when you do manage to go to sleep right because but again that's not a great coping mechanism uh it's better to keep busy hi welcome feel free to let me know what you would like to chat about uh i'm here talking about things that we can do at home or we we are fortunate to have in this world in today's age 
uh, to have at home. And, and as you, we have technology available where we can get on the internet when there's electricity running, right? Because I know somebody who uh, whose in electricity had stopped, uh, had shut off, and um, they were without power. And it's like, that sucks a lot. You know, you're home. I'm here with my Guinness. Uh, I have pepper around the corner, but what I'm going to be doing later today is blasting music. And it has been raining today, so it hasn't been great. Uh, but the sun did come out briefly, and I was, last night when I watched the video of the Italian DJing on the balcony, I said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to blast music. I love good music. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, the music that I like to listen to is top 40 popular. The oldies were playing there and I really liked those. So I am I was like, I'm going to open the windows. I don't care. It can't be that cold for that long and I'm going to blast the music. I'm not sure my neighbors would appreciate that. <laughs> but it is also daytime. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And I really do want to just could just put good vibes out there in the neighborhood. My neighborhood is generally quiet. They'll have like a couple, let's say maximum three parties a year, maybe. And it's mostly like um, teenagers or, or young adults leaving like late teens um, having parties in their backyard. Hi, thank you so much for joining. So I do, I am excited to blast music, like some happy music. Uh, later today and just perk up my mood but today when I woke up I was just like I can't do it and as I was getting ready for this uh, live stream I was feeling better and more awake and alert I mean if you watch the beginning of this you're gonna be like what is she doing <laughs> but um, here here I am here we are um, it's not looking too good I'm looking at the at the window outside out the window and it is windy um, I think we have a plus seven degrees Celsius I'm in Canada and um, it'd be nice if it was warmer I am excited to go about gardening and you know I will confess to you I will 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 confess I'm confessing here um, my house is a mess <laughs> some of you know this and um, I've been what home isolated for a few weeks now and a couple weeks and I really have not done much house cleaning. It's like people are like, you can clean your house now. It's like, I can, but you know what I'm doing? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> uh, so my life is revolving around this. I'm having ideas. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting ready uh, to post a lot more content. I'm trying to figure out what I can do when, like if I'm going to be live streaming regularly at a certain time for a certain hour or a number of hours. Um, what videos I'll be uploading and I also want to have like a continuous live stream because I'm hoping I'm not hoping I am wishing I am wishing 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 that I have a bird a bird's nest uh, on my deck under my deck somewhere where I can put a camera to it and we can like watch the nest get formed and then the eggs uh, show up and hopefully nobody takes these eggs like uh, other birds and we get hatched uh, little babies and we can see them grow because last year I had babies under my deck uh, it was two hi welcome thank you so much for joining I had two little um, birds baby birds in the nest and then the nest was gone and my fiance was like let's get rid of the nest I'm like don't you dare touch it next thing you know there's three they, I had no idea, but birds lay eggs twice, I don't know, in the same season. I'm here thinking, oh, it's, you know, bird season or whatever, laying nests, spring, everybody's having babies. And they are just in the nest. You look familiar. Hi. Oh my God. But this is not, this is Facebook. What the heck? I need to ignore what the heck is happening. <laughs> I think you're watching, but you are messaging me on Facebook, and good thing that the computer didn't sound off. But anyways, what the heck? I have a cat coming here? No, she's not. Pepper's over there. I'm being distracted by that one message. <laughs> um, so, I had birds last year, and I'm hoping I'm going to have birds again this year, and then I can live stream that. 
I also contacted because somebody uh, posted a people.com um, article that said that uh, shelters, animal shelters, are looking for foster homes for their pets that are in there. And I'm like, oh my god, that's right. So I contacted my uh, shelter here because I love animals. And um, and what happened? And I, I contacted them and I said, like, you guys are closed, right? They said yes. And I said, do you have... Um, uh, do you need fosters for the animals? And they said, no, we have enough staff to manage that. And you know, and they said, we don't have a program like this currently and we're not going to have one in the future and in your future. Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. And, um, and I figured, you know, that makes sense because the shelter's not busy here. And then I'm like, well, let me contact another shelter in another town. And then I'm like, you know what? I got things to do. Yeah. So I didn't, uh, contact another shelter. But it's for cats right now. I can't have a dog because the house has to get cleaned up. I was planning to get a dog. Uh, I got the A-OK -okay from the fiancé. And then he says no. And then he says yes. And then he says no. 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 And we have an unfortunate uh, series of events happen. And uh, we are not in a position right now to foster a dog. Uh, I've never fostered a dog. I do want to because there's always somebody in need, right? Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, I will, I hope, I plan to foster kittens or cats or whoever, whichever feline animal is in need. I've done it before. I love it so much. And it's the thrill of having cats or kittens, somebody new. And there isn't that commitment to, okay, I have this animal now for the rest of their life and I have to give them medical attention and feed them for life and change their litter for life and hair for life. Like, I have three. I have three cats. <laughs> That's plenty, you know? Um, plenty. And they all have big personalities. Luckily, they're sleeping right now. He's actually uh, got his back to us. And, um, and what? And... So these guys are temporary. They come in, uh, they're scared, they need their time alone, they need their time with me, they grow to uh, consider me as their mom. Like I've had kittens running to me like for dear life and it's like, guys. <laughs> and they come over and they're not hungry. They just need to snuggle, they want warmth. And it's like, <sighs> so sweet, so cute. Um, I just love it. It just thrills me because who else comes running to you when you get home or open a door, you know, except the dog, right? I have a situation where these cats kind of act like dogs and they do uh, come to the door, especially if it's supposed to be dinner time. And then I call them suicidals because they're at the front door. Like you're opening the door and they're right there. And it's like, you got to move because you're indoor cats only and you don't go outside and we're not going to start that. This guy actually escaped one time. Oh my God. The door uh, was open. Someone was uh, installing um, weather stripping on the door and didn't uh, alert me or say they need assistance for watching the door or whatever. They thought everything was fine. And Guinness escaped. He got out the front door and I got, I heard the yelling and I was like, oh my God. And when I ran to the front, I noticed that um, they went to the right. And so my fence, my gate is uh, to the backyard, is to the right. So I'm like, well, either they're going like under the fence, over the fence, I don't know. I'm like, let me see if I can go to the backyard. I get to the backyard and the cat, this guy, scaled the gate wooden gate and came back down in the snow like he's never touched snow and and it was like deep snow like in the dead of December or January or something I think it was December and um and he was like captured and he was captured like this and he was like his butt was here was it his his butt was here and his head was here and he was like crawling and escaping out Hi, welcome. I'm talking about my cat when he was tackled outside in the snow and he was escaping this way and I grabbed him and then I just I just grabbed him. I brought him home through the backyard and then I dropped him and he uh, was quite shaken and usually when he gets very rattled, he needs his own space. He just runs frantically somewhere. Actually, he doesn't even know where. Hi, welcome. He doesn't even know where he's running to or hiding. He just is frantic. Um, let me know. Do you guys do you guys have pets? Uh, 
do you have crazy <laughs> crazy stories do you let your pets out um well, of course i let the dog out in the backyard on her own uh it's fenced in but these these cats can never go out because anything and everything is out there right um another what's another situation with this guy when he poos or he pees yes maybe this is tmi <laughs> when he when he poos or he pees, um, no, when he poos, he hates the smell of his poo and he runs frantically. And before he even poos, he goes meowing around. And sometimes you think he's meowing around the house because he needs um, hugs and kisses and cuddles. And you gotta grab him because otherwise he annoys the pets. Um, hi, welcome, thank you for joining. And, um, and so, he goes to poo and then you know he's pooed because he's running like so fast through the house like he just caught a fire. You know, like he touched it and he didn't like it. And it's like, you pooed. He hates the smell of his poo. So once he's done, it's like, okay, thanks. And you go clean it up. Hi, thank you so much for joining. And uh, the other funny, the funny thing about him that is, is he tends to have um, cat litter on his nose. And I'm like, buddy, and I call him like such a dirty cat. I just recorded a video yesterday of him getting um, ice cream from the, the con empty container, like the little remnants of the liquid. And he sticks his paw in and he's licking it. And then he'll stick his paw in and instead of licking it, he puts it down. And then he puts his other paw in. I'm like, ugh. Like, I'm not, uh, maybe I am a germaphobe. <laughs> okay, maybe I am. <laughs> I do wash my hands frequently, and when I see them doing that, it's like, ew, you're so gross. Oh my goodness, um, you're you're so you're so gross, and it's I just can't get over that. It's like I wish you took care of yourself. And Almond, my dog, she tends to, uh, if she gets like food on her or something here or excess on the top of her snout, she doesn't do anything about it. And it's like, dog, come on, like lick it off. Um, chocolate, my first dog, I got him when he was 10 weeks old from the shelter. I would stick him, I would stick him, I would tell him, uh, like, you know, you need to lick these crumbs off the floor or off the plate or whatever bowl, like, everything's for you to eat, like, lick it clean. So, he was a very clean boy. Um, he did take care of all that, and I call them compost. <laughs> Strange names for my pets. They have a million names. Um... He used to be called the a-hole with the proper name, right? Uh, and I'm like, you know what? Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. And I'm like, that's not exactly um, appropriate for the masses of YouTube. So I need to get out of calling him that. I still do call him a cockroach because this buddy here of mine, he tends to go onto the counter, counter surfing. And especially when like the frying pan's turned off or the butter comes out, margarine not butter, um, he's just instantly on the counter. And often, Pepper, my gray one, who's just off screen right now, um, she's lying here, but a little further down. Um, she will, uh, what will she do? She will uh, go on the counter as well. And so I'm calling them, you know, we have cockroaches. There's two cockroaches on the counter and it'll be like the black cockroach and the gray cockroach. <laughs> And I'm sure, I'm sure the neighbors think I have an infestation because in the springtime and in the fall, when the windows are open, I'm just announcing it. And again, I'm sure the neighbors can hear. And it's like, there's another cockroach on the counter. <laughs> it's a black one. <laughs> there's a black cockroach. Because they just swarm and want to walk around and everything, you know? And it's like, get off. Or you can't do anything because you bring them off and they come back down. And when I tell you you can't do anything, I mean it. Like, when my fiancé was, and I were first uh, dating, he would be like, you need to do something about this, you need to train these pets, you need to da 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 da, -da. And I just kept my mouth shut, because it's like, buddy, you can go ahead and try. And he's given up. He'll be at the point where he's like, uh, putting spread on his bread, and making a sandwich, and Guinness is like right around. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be sharing this. <laughs> Guinness is right around, and he's like, get out of here, get out of here. And it's like, 
if I'm in the kitchen, I'll like pick him up and help get this cat off. But he's persistent. Like, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. This guy rules the house. I mean, we try to and we do have some rules like I tell you when you eat. Uh, and why do you have to eat every day? <laughs> Twice a day, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we like to joke a lot. Um, and uh, other times he gets to do whatever he wants on the counter. And before we had the dishwasher installed, we had it sitting outside of the slot because we had mm, dishwasher, house owning, welcome to this story, storytelling. So uh, what happened to the dishwasher? It's not cleaning properly. Yes, it's five years old, five, six, three, okay, three, four, five, six, seven. It's up to seven years old. It's between four and seven years old, five, six, up to seven years old. And hi, thank you for joining. And it's not cleaning properly and it makes noise and uh, mostly it's not cleaning properly and I'm just ticked off. And I've read about like um, raising the heat on the, the hot water heater higher, did that because it wouldn't, um, it didn't wash the dishes or melt the thing on the regular, whatever, on, on the, yeah, on the lower setting, because I do half on the hot water heater. Hi, thanks for joining. Um, and so when I do it less, it doesn't, like, less from the middle on the rotating thing on how hot or cold to have the hot water heater. If I do one level down, it doesn't melt the um, detergent, the dishwashing detergent, so I have to put the heat back on normal. And it still wasn't washing the dishes properly. Everything did melt. And it used to wash dishes properly. So I'm like, well, this dishwasher sucks. And I don't like the brand name anyways. Hi, thank you so much for the like. And thank you for joining. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I need a new dishwasher because this sucks. And they had a program out last year in Ontario where you get 25% off or something off of the dishwashers. So I looked into it and I... I think I got a really good quality one for myself. It's three tier. I love it. Um, yeah, three tier dishwasher. So the top rack you can put uh, cutlery on and uh, other small fine things and it's bigger. So I'm like, I think we need a third set of uh, dishes because <laughs> there's just two of us and we're not using, uh, I want the dishwasher full. I'm like, a little stickler for that I really want dishwashers full before I turn them on um, so anyway so before the dishwasher so when we pulled out the dishwasher uh, the original original one the one that was here in this house find out that it's hardwired to the house and I'm like what is this so we took out the the dishwasher sorry we unscrewed the the cord the cord that had the the silver thing me and my language guys seriously you'll have to everything's a thing <laughs> so the hardwire uh, cord is sticking out uh, with the three um, strips of wire and two of them have the covers on whatever dishwasher's gone you dishwashers put in and I'm like where's the thing to connect the wire and they're like you have like I'm reading it and to hardwire it you have to call and order this package and hi thank you for joining and so I call them and they're like, it's 60 bucks, Canadian. I'm like, um, I spent a good chunk of money on this dishwasher, can't this be free? And they're like, uh, no, it's a supply, you have to blah, blah, blah. So, oh, when they transferred, they transferred me to the supplier because it was an external, even though it's the same company, whatever. Um, so I'm like, forget you. And I'm like, we're not paying $60. And then I talked to somebody and they're like saying that um, you can go to Home Depot uh, which is Home Depot, um, and purchase this, like, um, the metal box, uh, and then you can put the, um, electrical plug inside and then wire, whatever, but it has to be hooked up to a wall, and I'm like, I have a peninsula in my kitchen, and so that means that, um, it's a U-shaped, right, and so two walls are touching, and then this, these are walls, my hands are my walls. Hi, thanks for joining. And then here's the sink and the, the, the cabinets continue and the dishwasher's on the end. It's not next to a wall. And the hard wire doesn't reach to a wall. So the plug would have to be hooked up to the 
um, cabinet. And I'm like, F it, I'm doing it. And then we, uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> It's like, you know what, just in case, because I'm like, I still want to remodel the kitchen. So if we could just do hard, create a plug and then hook up the dishwasher, because the dishwasher came with a regular plug, it'll be fine. And if not, then we'll have to order the part. And so we were stalling on it. Um, we did order, we did pick up the parts from the store. And then it was like, yeah, I don't want to do it. Do you want to do it? I don't want to do it. I'm like, I don't know why you have to hook up the plug to a wall and not to the cabinet but let's just do it how it's supposed to be because it's never gonna be for like I don't want a peninsula in this kitchen when I remodel the kitchen I want it to be bigger I think it's a really small kitchen I really don't enjoy it you've seen my other videos and my extent of my cooking abilities <laughs> in that kitchen um but for now oh and so FYI if when I do the kitchen reno you guys are gonna see it because I want to show it because I'm so excited I already did a kitchen reno at my uh, the condo that I used to own and I loved it so I love renovating I love it I want to do it and uh, I'm really excited for one day when it'll be happening and then I'll have my kitchen and my counter space because right now there's not enough counter space in my books but anyway so we did not go with the creating the plug ourselves I called uh, the company back and I ordered the part <laughs> and um, it is installed the dishwasher is not is it doesn't turn on like when you press the on button it doesn't turn on but when you open it the lights light up so I have to look into it more I think you have to put like the detergent in maybe before you can like turn it on but I know you have to do a cycle first before you can actually put your dishes in so anyways it's step by step so you know if you're wondering why i'm not cleaning my house it's because i have other things to do like install no my dishwasher's installed we hardwired it to the dishwasher um with the add add-on attachment thing to hardwire it and uh we just need to have it turned on because you know we're right now washing dishes with our hands and uh you're like is she really doing it yeah i am <laughs> I do have lovely nails. I'm very proud of. Uh, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, but I do wear gloves, uh, rubber gloves for that. And I mean, my fiance is always like, can't you just wash a dish? Like pick up, pick up a dish and wash it. I'm like, hi, I'm doing it. You want to check the journal? <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> One day when he'll be on, you'll hear all his commentary and then I'll regret putting him on. <laughs> but right now I can just talk for him and and the parts that I'm, I want to share, you know, to better my story, right? Because this is how it goes. <laughs> I'm like, you need to record this. So uh, maybe I'll do a live stream of me washing dishes. I'm joking. Who, who cares, right? <laughs> Those that uh, don't know yet, uh, here's my buddy Guinness. I have three cats. Here's, this is the one boy in the house. The two cats are girls and the dog is a girl. Let me know if you have any pets um, or what pets you do have. Here's Guinness. He plays dead uh, when he's sleeping. Like you can do whatever to him and he's just like, hi, thanks for joining. And he's just sleeps. I mean, yeah, you can see the ears move twitching, but he's just like fine. Um, I can, I can, I can, I can just, oh, hi, buddy. Oh, he said stop. That was his stop when he moved his paw. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Um, what can I talk about now? I talked about uh, what's happening day to day. I talked about the music I'm going to be blasting because I want to uh, just have happy music right now. This is some jazz um, jazz music that's playing in the background because I haven't had music on before and I figured it would be helpful. <laughs> Just more entertaining background noise like when I'm doing my videos. Um, yeah, I decided to do some live streaming and have, and have fun with this uh, while I sit at home. I, was, I did mention earlier, I was at Costco yesterday what can I tell you about it? They did a great job and I posted 
around telling people what uh, Costco did and they're like my Costco is not doing this and I'm like I thought they just did it like all of them were were streamlined to do it so they have these yellow dots well dots it's a square this big <laughs> um, on the floors six feet apart at the um, at the pharmacy as well as hi thanks for joining as well as the uh, checkouts and so people are supposed to stand that far apart so first thing I did was go to the pharmacy because that's really why I left the house I had last been out of the house uh, March 3rd which was two and a half weeks ago also to go to Costco and I'm like we're not hitting nowhere else we need prescriptions it's there we can do the bulk shopping and we're fine and we have not been hoarding toilet paper in case anybody asks or paper towels or hand sanitizer cleaners whatever uh we're fine we're always fine um yeah try to buy a hat i mean we were at costco last time because we needed cat litter because we were in a cat litter now we have four boxes of costco cat litter because <laughs> we bought three and then today yesterday when we were there i'm like let's just buy another one just in case because i don't want to go to costco because i need cat litter um they have the best price and the largest size and it's good quality and the pets are fine with it um so anyway so they also had the where the garden center would be they had um oh god me and my words the the uh crates or something what the hell skids they had skids stacked up creating three lanes or aisles i called them in the garden center so you enter the garden center from outside and they hand you a cart that they had wiped the handle down so that was like super plus and um i'm like do you show the card now she said no so she dress so we go in and we're going and i'm like well, were these people like i guess two lines to enter and one line to exit and i'm like but these are like returning the cart over and as i'm walking i'm like f because they're going around you know like to get into the store the three lanes i i hadn't known and then i just show the card and all the centers are closed uh photo and eyeglasses and hearing and whatever uh but the pharmacy is open and the warehouse is open so I'll go to the pharmacy and then i see like six people spread out and usually my pharmacy has no people waiting in line to up to three people waiting in line when i go um line up and this time I had six and when i ha called the pharmacy yesterday they're like it's busy 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 it's busy 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 i'm like okay <laughs> how's the warehouse it's like oh it's not that busy and i'm like well can you tell me when's a good time to come and he's like i don't know what that what what it'll look like i'm like based on what you have seen when is it not busy and he's like it's busy busy i'm like okay <laughs> like you can't even check what the warehouse is i get it you're busy busy so anyway, so when I got to the pharmacy, I'm just waiting, the, I'm seventh person in line, and then other people start to line up, and somebody comes around explaining, you have to stand by the dot. And I, on my phone, texting, messaging, whatever, because what else, right? Am I, do I need to do? So I'm messaging, and I'm like, here's the square, and here's the tip of my foot, and she's like, stand at the, at the dot, and I'm like, oh my god, lady, like... So I went, I, I moved over, what, six inches to go stand at the dot. Meanwhile, the carts are supposed, she said the carts are supposed to be in front of the yellow dot. Uh, the guy in front of me had his cart at the tip of the dot, and then he was in the space. And I'm like, well, see, exactly. But, you know, people aren't coughing. Everybody's quiet. It was very somber there, almost like you're at a funeral. I shouldn't laugh. Sorry. Um, and then I got to my turn. Everything was okay go about the store come back around the pharmacy and it's double the line and i was like hi thanks so much for joining i go to the checkouts and the checkouts were not busy usually the checkouts here are between like two to three people at the costco warehouse and uh, i was third and uh, i was there with my fiance and he's like let's go to that one go to that one go to that one I'm like no 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 i'm like they're closed they're closed they're closed because it had like next lane closed or whatever the signs um out there and i'm like we won't. anyway so we go to this one and there's two people ahead and they look like they're doing social distancing isolation distancing yeah so the checkouts had a dot and then another dot but where i was they just had one dot i'm like well i guess i'll just stand here and so when it was my turn to come up to the dot and the belt got clear and the lady 
excuse me, was going to be like wanting my card. I'm starting to put stuff on the belt and the, there's, there's a person there putting stuff on the belt. She's like, please stand back. I'll do it. And you stand behind the white dot, the yellow dot. I'm like, wow, <laughs> like this is some good service. And it's like, honestly, forget the fact that maybe I'm living in a bubble. Tell me, tell me, <laughs> but, um, but I really enjoyed my experience there because it's not busy. Uh, people are keeping to themselves. Whatever they have, any cold is sickness, they're not sharing it. They are staying home, right? You guys stay home. And, um, and then they're providing the service to me by putting the stuff there. So I really enjoyed it. They put the, the stuff on the belt and then they take it off. And then she, the cashier, even told me to take my receipt out. And I'm like, perfect, because I do that in stores. Like, you're doing your thing. I don't need to wait for you to pull the receipt off the machine to hand it to me. I'll just take my receipt. And some people give me dirty looks, some cashiers. And it's like, please, like, you need to hand me the receipt? Like, I can touch the receipt. <laughs> I've been a cashier, so I can talk, okay? <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining. I'm just talking about my experience at Costco, the warehouse that I was at yesterday and how much I enjoyed it. And wait for this. When I was at the Costco, they, I'm showing, the, the two people at the exit, you know how you have to show your receipt and they check two items off or whatever. I got beef with that. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm holding out the receipt. They're like, it's fine, thanks. And it's like, they didn't touch it. They didn't look at it, nothing. I'm like, that's what you should be doing. Stop this fake, we're checking your receipt. BS, I have, I put stuff in a bag. Like I have the two Costco bags to put my groceries in and stuff. And I'm like, you don't look inside if we, if they scanned everything correctly, please. Right? Right? <laughs> Same with, Walmart, it's like, yeah, it's their rules. This is what you sign up for when you're a member. When I was peeking at uh, what the membership rules are for Costco, they actually say that they're allowed to inspect your purse. And I'm like, <sighs> and then if you don't, if you don't let them, they can revoke your membership, right? And then you're never allowed in. <laughs> Unless you go as a guest and have somebody pay for your items and then you graciously pay them back. So anyways, Thank you so much for joining guys. I really had a great time. It did, it did, it did, it did seem quiet. It was quiet from your end. Uh, no problem. I hope I didn't tuck your ear off and you did enjoy uh, this chat, this first live that I did online from wearing my bathrobe and uh, hanging with the quiet kitty Guinness and everybody was quiet. So thank you, thank you for joining. Please uh, look at the video, the person who just logged in. It's gonna be uh, available for view now in a moment. Thanks, have a great day, bye.